In this video, I'm going to be showing you a lick that covers all five pentatonic scale shapes. This is going to be really helpful for you if you're stuck playing the same licks in the same positions all the time and you want to get better at playing across the entire fretboard seamlessly. Enjoy! So before I show you how to play this lick, I want you to know that as well as playing this lick in its entirety, uh, you can play this lick in small chunks as well. The point of this lick is to show you a few different ways that you can transition seamlessly between the pentatonic positions. With that said, this lick is in G major, so we are going to be using the G major pentatonic scale. Starting with shape number one, which looks like this. So we're going to start on the 3rd fret of the low E string and hammer on to the 5th fret, like that. Then we are going to slide up to the 7th fret of the low E string. So all together we've got... And now we find ourselves in position number 2, which looks like this. So that's already one transition under our belt. Now, once we move to the seventh fret of the low E string, we're going to play the fifth fret of the A string and we're going to hammer on the seventh fret of the A string. Then we're going to do the same thing on the D string. And then we're going to roll our ring finger up like this. So we're going to be doing this a few times in the lick. So we are going to be playing the seventh fret of the A string. And I like to palm mute these where I roll my finger backwards, I like to palm mute those notes. You don't have to, but it adds a bit of variety to the lick and make it sound, sound a bit cooler. Okay, so we're going to do that, then we're going to play the D string again, we're going to play the 5th fret, then hammer on the 7th fret. Then we're going to slide up to the ninth fret. And now we're in position 3 of the G major pentatonic scale. So once we've slid up to the 9th fret, we're going to play the 7th fret of the G string, hammer onto the 9th fret, and then we're going to do another roll of our ring finger onto the 9th fret of the D string. Then we're going to play the 7th fret of the G string again, followed by a hammer-on on the 9th fret one more time. Then we're going to slide up to the 12th fret. And there we find ourselves in position number 4, of the G major pentatonic scale. So once we've slid up to the 12th fret of the G string, we're going to play the 10th fret of the B string. We're gonna hammer on the 12th fret. We're gonna roll our finger back to the 12th fret of the G string, palm muting if you want to. Um, then we're gonna play the 10th fret and 12th frets of the B string again, hammering on the 12th fret and then sliding up to the 15th fret. And now we find ourselves in position five of the G major pentatonic scale. And this is otherwise known as the E minor pentatonic scale, the first shape of that. But we're playing in G major, so this is the G major pentatonic scale. And once we've slid up to the 15th fret of the B string, we're going to play the 12th fret of the high E string and then finish with the 15th fret of the high E string and we can add a little bit of vibrato on there and that is the lick. So I want you to see where you can maybe cut this lick up in different places and use that to transition between your different pentatonic shapes. Obviously you're going to have to learn a whole lot more licks to um, be able to seamless, seamlessly transition anywhere on the fretboard wherever you are, but this is a really good start. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and let me know what you wanna see in the comments. Do you wanna see more of these videos where I show you how to connect the pentatonic shapes? Because I'd love to do more, so let me know if you would. Um, until next time, I'll see you later.